What do you think will happen first, in your opinion? Mm-hmm. A robot apocalypse or a zombie apocalypse? What now, do you robot, think robot, 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 robot. I'm about to go in. Now, nah, robots, robots, robots. You robots, think so? Robots, robots. I'm seeing two, one for one. Yeah. Right now. I'm like I do my work, but AI can yeah. literally get a master's degree. Yeah. So that's one. Two, they're like making AIs that are capable of so for side note, you know my boy Eli. Yeah, yeah. He does program, he's uh doing coding. Coding in for that's his degree or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. He said he made an app and it took him like he was like he said like one eighth of the time would normally take him. Yeah. But because he had AI, he literally just putting in, you know, the, you know, algorithms he knows, yeah, it? putting in like little things and it created the full algorithm for creating like all the code, everything. It made it so much quicker. And then he was able to make it, upload it. And he did, he only put in like an hour a day. He had it done in like two weeks. Like it was, it was really not even an hour, bro. Like he, he said when he was bored, he would just do it. Go, boom. And he has a fluent app now. Like then there's that. Then there's, um. On top of that, like they have AIs that are like robots, like models, yeah, that are able to like, you know, they're fill sensors and stuff like that, and uh-huh. then they're putting AI into it. So like, there was a um a video I saw. It was like an AI robot, and it had fill sensors on his hands and his face. Yeah. So they were like doing experiment, like touching his face, and it was like swiping away. Oh, because he could feel that. Yeah. And nah, like, that's not you know good. What I'm saying? Yeah, and then not only that, you can have a ev- they got how if it's that fluent that you have an AI on Instagram, AI on Snapchat that you can have a conversation with. Yeah, like if you give that to a kid, they're gonna be fooled. Oh yeah, they probably gonna think that's a real person. That's they're gonna not be good. fooled. But think about how powerful real AI, like I'm talking like the top notch AIs are. Oh, like the niggas in the government that got that. shit? Yeah, like they, now those AIs are like having a conversation, but saying shit you didn't think they was gonna say. Like it sound like you. That's what you I'm saying. Me? That's what now. I, keep pumping that with data. And now put it into something that can move. And then if this is the this is the fuck up, right? Yeah. I might be giving the keys to like an evil villain right now. Oh yeah. But like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I'm t- Doofenshmirtz, evil incorporated. Right I'm saying like <laughs> it's, so look, you take that powerful AI, yeah, and you give it the ability to interact with other AI or the ability to code. Like just I have an AI bot, whatever the case is, mm-hmm. right? It has free range on the internet. Yeah. Oh. So that AI is an independent AI. It can access ChatGPT. It can access all this stuff. Oh. Give it two days. Now it can have ChatGPT create. So like, say that AI doesn't know how to how to make another robot. Mm-hmm. It's only going to take it because what stops us humans is like boredom, will, and like laziness. how much laziness. So yeah. like, if you're doing schoolwork for two hours, you're going to be like, I need a little mental break. So you take 15 minutes, come back and do your schoolwork. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. AIs, no, I want to build a robot. And it's not going to stop. It's not. Give it one day, it's going to know the perfect engineering model on how to make that robot. Now it can make that. Now it can teach itself how to make... I use AI to help me study for a class. Now AI is about to use that to... You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so bad. And it's about... I'm t- Yo, give it... I'm telling you, give it like 10 years, it's going to be like... Really bad. There's going to be laws on AI. Like It has to be. Because you got to think like, about it, right? Imagine, right? You, ever, you remember um, you remember playing the Apes? Yeah. How, how that how all that shit started? Yeah, yeah one yeah. guy had a monkey. Yeah, yeah. imagine a, one guy has a robot, right? He don't say none. He don't say none. He's just chilling with the robot. He's doing his chores, doing everything in the crib, and now that shit's like you know I'm tired of this shit, bro. I'm tired of this. Let one robot. It's like I robot. Let one robot get the the tools necessary to be able to just be able to get into a military. Get one tank. You know this is this how it's gonna go out though. One. I'll give it. If I think I do think robot apocalypse is is on the verge now, but I feel like this is how it's gonna start. We're gonna start using them in the military first, and then it's gonna backfire. Yeah. Because I feel like they're trying not to. Yeah, they're trying their hard. Like, I feel ah, like they we could can save lives. Like you can have an AI drone ship immediately. Yeah, like you can. You got fly, you have self driving cars. You can have a self flying. Uh, and once drone. they put morals into AI, so there's like AIs they put like rights and wrongs. Yeah. Once you put like this is a right decision, this is a wrong decision. That's when we fucked up. Like it's ethic. Once you put ethics into an AI, now it's basically a person. Yeah, it's really a person. Because I can tell you that I think you know um, basketball is a bad sport, and you tell me I think it's a great sport. Yeah. If I'm the AI and I want to cancel all basketball leagues, right? Mm-hmm. You could, I, you know what I'm saying? So you put its own ethics into it, and now uh, that's where yeah, it's. 
That's crazy. Telling you, bro. And it I might think, be both at the same time now. Zombie and robot apocalypse, though. I think zombie too, but like with AI, I remember I was I've seen a story. Mm. Um, have you ever heard of what's this company's name? It's a, uh, it's called Lockheed Martin. You ever heard of what Lockheed Martin is? Nah. So Lockheed Martin is the main manufacturer for missiles, weapons in America. Missiles, weapons, all aircrafts, Damn. all that shit. So they're they are the company that gives the government all our weapons. Okay. They're supposedly saying that there was a whistleblower that came out and said and told like I think a government official saying that Lockheed Martin has like a special group of like it has its own like military, mm-hmm. like secret military where they go out and retrieve like some supposedly crash UFOs. And what they do is they use the crash UFOs or they go to wherever the UFO sites is, they go over there, they crash it, they'll take it, and then they re-engineer it to yeah. make their own shit. Put their own shit in now, it. what's also crazy is that this is all hypothetically, like, there's no proof of it, but there's one person saying it. What's also crazy is that the government don't know about it because they're afraid that if the government takes it, they're going to gonna start, running start a ro- they're, they will start the robot apocalypse because mm-hmm. that would be crazy. So what they do is they keep it secret from the government. So they have their own military uh, division, all that, that goes out and retrieves this stuff. Yeah. And they also retrieve their own hovercrafts that they like might have own. crashed. Right. So imagine you see some shit in the air. You might think it's an alien, but it might be a nigga like me and you flying that bitch. And they just crashed it like some dumb shit. <laughs> and it was try- Yeah, it's experiment. So imagine. It. So if we can do, if like if we're able to, right, they're giving us these little headphones that we can like make our own reality out of like Apple's doing that. Max. Imagine the best uh mil- the best uh company that makes our weapons. What type of resource they have and what are they cooking up in that motherfucker? Trust me, they yeah, they they're like always 30 years ahead of us at least. Yeah, at least 30 My years. My brother ahead. was telling me cuz um you know he was in the Air Force, he was like their mass that they put on in the aircraft yeah. since like back in 2007 and shit. Mm-hmm. Was already like that shit. Really? Like, when you're in the cockpit, it's a clear window, but when it goes in now, all the lines and all the stuff you see in games and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, live. So, like, when you're in it, you look down below you, there's nothing there. Oh. So, you're not seeing the handle. You're not seeing the stuff below you when you have that thing on. Really? Yeah, when they're in jets. Like, look that, at that, like, that helmet? Yeah, when they put the thing on and all that. Yeah. And they're in a, and they're in a jet, like, they can look... They can. That's why, like, you ever... See, like, you know, you see a jet and then, like... You know they'll know what's some. Oh, there's a jet below me. There's a jet really? behind me. Really? I didn't know that they because could... it becomes clear because there's there's little cameras and stuff all over the jet. Oh, so, and it portrays it, and that's why it costs the jets cost almost money. It's not because of the engine and shit. It's because of the technology in it. Oh, I didn't even know they had. That. And that's, that's also crazy. why whenever they crash a jet and stuff, they always like say a jet crashing or whatever in the war. Yeah, they always like they're supposed to destroy. Oh, because They're they don't want the people getting, getting technology. the technology. Yeah, exactly, and, and re-engineering. Wow, that's so like, crazy. but yeah, so like they can see like you, they can turn around behind him, be like, ah, right, he's behind me. All right, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, start to get crazy. They're like that. They but they've been had that, and now we getting it. That was in 2007. Yeah, this is way back. Like I'm oh, saying, oh, I didn't even know that. That's so crazy. now, yeah, now they're yeah. Oh, like, nah, they can, we're yeah. fucked. Imagine what we got now, bro. Oh, that's crazy work. Iron Man out here, cuz. Hey, I'm saying, I, if I'm a billionaire, I'll be. I have an Iron Man suit. It shouldn't be that hard. That, that, yeah. It couldn't be that hard. But yeah, that's my now, I, now I have an argument for the zombies. Okay. Right? Okay. So, now, what if I tell you, remember in 2012, that whole zombie incident started going around in Florida where the man ate somebody's face? Yeah. And it, supposedly he was on bath salts? I was lit for that, but yeah. What do you mean he was lit for that? I wanted that shit to run up. Oh, this nigga is sick. I wasn't ready back then, but yeah. now I'm ready. Now you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, what if I tell you that whole incident, that 2012 zombie incident, mm-hmm. was a they covered it up because it's not really what we all thought it was. Hmm? So right, <laughs> it's crazy. So suppose so you know the whole story. A man in 2012 was butt ass naked running through the streets of Florida, and he found a homeless man. He started eating his face. Yeah, eating his face. Yeah. And this not even that's not even the first account. There was another guy. It happened to another yeah, person. They said he was on bath salts. Yeah, he was, he was on bath salts. Yeah. Right. So supposedly they did an autopsy. There was no bath salts in the system. Gee. It was just marijuana. And ever since they found that out, they just shoved it under the rug because they. What are you gonna tell the people? We we been said his bath salts. That nigga was just high. Because you know, what? <laughs> nah, bro. He was a dad. He was a dad. I imagine, nah, that's crazy weed. Niggas off a of, nah, that's not. Because you know what bath salts do to you, right? They said they make you like a superhuman. Yeah, make you dumb. Strong. They make you dumb, For, strong, and aggressive. Forget you have limits. Yes, but it's like he didn't have that shit in his system. So like, what the fuck was he on? So supposedly, right? 
There are scientists that's trying to create, that's trying to bring people back to life in war. So say when you say when you get shot in war and you get like you, you know like uh not when you die but it's like you're bleeding out. Yeah. They'll pump like something into your blood that can suffice for that. So. Yeah, it's not really like it won't heal you on the spot, but it will like sedate you for like three hours. Like you'll go cold, but you'll still be living. Right. Just so they can bring you to the doctor so they can fix you. So they did. So they made this specifically for war. So it's literally you pump it into your system. It's like a a type of chemical into your blood, and it freezes. I think it like freezes or like holds your blood or something. So you don't you stop losing blood. Mm -hmm. So now, but you're like unconscious now, and but you're still alive. So yeah. now they bring you back, and then they um that's when they do all the tests and stuff. And then after yeah. three hours, then you'll be yeah. good again. So they started testing out on dogs, and it worked. Like they were able to bring dogs back to life. Like they would they would like shock their hearts, stop their hearts, and then they'll pump it in. And then after three hours, they'll revive them again and they'll come back to life. But the side effects were that they became very aggressive and very like dangerous. Like they had to put some of the dogs down because they was really trying to attack people. So now, I think recently in like 2000... And he was naked. Yo, he was butt-ass naked. So that... Nigga... Damn. Ah, I can't... I'm itchy. I <laughs> the shit off. Yeah. In 2010, I think they made it... Uh, they made like a, they passed something where they can now test it on humans. And they were testing in the University of Miami. And what they do is, oh, not Miami, Maryland. So what they did was they, um, they got the patients that like had gunshot wounds. Yeah. And they were like on the brink of dying. Like they were in cardiac arrest, shit like that. Yeah. And they would try it out on them because like, but like, they about to die. They about to die. So yeah. like, they, and they didn't give them, they didn't even ask them because they're already, they're like in a coma and shit. So they're yeah. like, you know what? Fuck it. Might as well try it. Like, yeah. they about to die and they're shit. If it doesn't work, they're dead anyways. So what yeah. if some nigga in Florida tried it out? The nigga came back to life. The first nigga came back to life. Like, oh, shit. He's back to life. This, that, and third. Start. Nigga started going crazy. Like, eating I'm talking about. He eating niggas. Bro, nigga ate oh. half his face, bro. I feel like. What happened to the homeless nigga? He died? Nah, he's still alive, but he got no. Like, he. I think he has, like, half, like, 80% of his face is gone. He was already homeless, gang. I know. That sucks. Like, if Imagine your life wasn't hard already, you, now nigga, <laughs> random nigga, like, you on the street and a random nigga, nigga walk said, up to you like, I'm hungry, and he just start biting, biting like, your face, bro. And I go, that's Max. Nigga, ah, that's a, that's a hard life for a homeless nigga, bro. But I'm saying, if it's, if it's a zombie apocalypse, I don't, I feel like we're, like I said, I think we're more closer to robot than zombie, but if it's I zombie, to robot, I, I feel like it would be, I don't think it, it would either be like a, like a sickness or some shit like that. I was going to say both. The reason why I said both because AI starts getting crazy and they're like, all right, let's just get rid of humans. Like, <sighs> Right? Yeah. Release a virus. Imagine. Just release it. They can honestly work better And it than won't us. affect the robots. It yeah. won't. Bro, honestly. So now we're fighting two things and we can't do that. That would be so shitty. Yeah, I just dropped the plan. Nah, that's crazy work. That's <laughs> <what> <laughs> that's 2024, that's crazy work. Oh, <laughs> uh, nah, but I was thinking about that the other day because I was watching... Um, what I was watching, I was watching Pacific Rim, and I was thinking about like monsters. I was like, "Damn, imagine that shit happen now. We'd be fucked. There's no way we're making no fucking robots and shit." But if those robots, if we, if robots were fucking, um, like, if we can get the to the technology where we could make those robots, that'd be fucking crazy as hell. Yeah. But I don't know. There's a lot of shit that's been going on in the world, bro. You seen the shit with the the telescope, bro? That. Niggas said they found lights on another planet.